To some children, the letters you see here on your screen appear just like you see it, out of focus and even blurry. Doctors are seeing an epidemic of people diagnosed as nearsighted up 66% in the past 30 years. And a lot of those patients are kids. I investigated why and the treatment some parents are turning to to make sure their kids can see. Why don't we go find a good place to sit? Six-year-old Gwen Love has been wearing glasses since she was three. You didn't think that she could have vision problems that young? No, no. Doctors diagnosed Gwen as nearsighted. Her father, Adam, says looking back, there were signs. When she would watch TV, we would continually have to pull her back because she wouldn't want to walk right up until she was almost right up on top of it. There are more and more kids just like Gwen. The corneas really do look great. Dr. Barbara Markison at Complete Eye Care is concerned about how many she's diagnosing with nearsightedness or myopia. Is this an epidemic? Yes, I would definitely say it's an epidemic. People that are more nearsighted are more likely to end up with glaucoma or cataracts, myopic macular degeneration, retinal disorders such as a retinal detachment. Why are more people, especially kids, nearsighted now? It could be genetics, but there are other theories. A lack of sunshine and increasingly too much screen time with tablets, iPads and phones straining children's eyes. Our eyes were made to be looking far away and our technology, all of us adults and children, our world is so up close now. From entertainment to education, kids spend more time staring at screens. Many schools even provide Chromebooks to students. When it comes to devices, Dr. Markison recommends the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, kids should look 20 feet away, roughly the distance of this table, for 20 seconds to give their eyes a break. If they become nearsighted as a child, it will get worse and worse and worse every year. A treatment called orthokeratology can stop it through a special scan of the eye. So where it's red down here, it's steep, and this is what makes this person nearsighted. Custom lenses are made for patients to wear only when they're sleeping. Just like a braces retainer would hold your teeth straight, this holds the eye straight, so it's not getting worse and worse. And as you sleep, it slowly and gently reshapes that cornea. One reason I had to sit at the front of the classroom because I couldn't see. Richard Lauer is a 16-year-old high school student and cross-country standout. He was diagnosed as nearsighted in fifth grade. He started wearing the special lenses and said his vision has not worsened at all. He says seeing clearly without glasses or contacts not only helps him focus on getting faster. This is one less struggle to deal with on my journey when in running, which I hope to get into college with. He's grateful was, uh, that with the lenses, his vision will never worsen for the rest of his life. Uh, having these in has been just a blessing for me. Dr. Markison is one of only a handful of doctors in North Carolina who create those custom lenses. She recommends annual eye exams starting no later than age five because she says young children may not realize objects are out of focus and may not complain about their vision.